Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at the new Opla IoT kit from Arduino, which they've kindly sent across for me to share with you. So thank you to Arduino for making this video possible. This kit is very new, it was only launched early in November, so just in time to find it under the tree for Christmas. The kit includes a Maker IoT carrier, which is the big round board featured prominently on the front of the box as well as the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 Arduino board, cables for the sensors and battery, a motion sensor, a moisture sensor, a plastic enclosure and then a USB cable. Using the included components and the instructions, you can build 8 projects, which all make use of the internet in some way. Some of these are more common, like the smart garden and weather stations, and then there are also some unique ones, like the solar system tracker and thinking about you project. The kit sells for $114 from the official Arduino website. I've put links to the Arduino store product page and to the kit on Amazon in the video description. It is quite expensive, but it also comes with a lot of functionality on the IoT carrier board, which we'll get into in a bit. Let's get the box open and see what's inside. With the slip-on cover removed, you're immediately presented with the Maker IoT carrier board, as well as an introduction to the kit and where to get started. The carrier board is the heart of this kit, and although the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 board is the brains behind the kit, this carrier is the device you connect all of the sensors and I.O. devices to, and what you use to control and interact with the Arduino as well. It looks like we then flip open the side panel to find the rest of the components behind it. So in the back of the box we've got the Arduino, case, sensors and the cables. Let's take a closer look at the components. On the carrier we've got a large round OLED display in the middle, surrounded by 5 RGB LEDs and 5 capacitive touch sensors, and then some smaller sensors along the bottom edge. These look like a humidity sensor, a light sensor, and then the IMU or motion sensor. On the back we've got some sockets for the external sensors, and then two relay outputs which can be used to drive things like lights or pumps, or switch appliances on and off. We've also got the socket for the Arduino, and then an SD card slot and battery holder. The carrier takes an 18650 lithium ion battery, which from the box sounds like it can be charged by the carrier board as well. We've then got this plastic enclosure. The plastic is frosted over, but you can still see into it to see the buttons in the display. The back cover looks like it just snaps into place, and has two screw holes to mount it onto a wall. We've then got the Arduino Maker Wi-Fi 1010 board, which has both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. We've also got a motion sensor. and a capacitive moisture sensor, which I prefer over the resistive moisture sensors. Lastly, we've got some cables and then some small screws which I assume are to mount the carrier to the case. The front panel inside the box said that we should head over to opla.arduino.cc to get started, so let's have a look at what's there. The Opla IoT homepage lists the 8 included projects, and then each project page includes instructions that detail which components are used, as well as how to assemble, program and use the Arduino and carrier to complete the project. There are also two getting started guides, one which shows you how to use and program the carrier, and another which details how to use the cloud functionality. There are essentially two different ways to use this kit. The first is to upload your project directly to the Arduino, and use it in conjunction with the carrier and the second is to load a generic cloud application onto the Arduino and then connect to it using Arduino's cloud server. 
This enables you to create dashboards to view information and control and monitor the sensors and relays remotely. Included with the kit is a 12-month maker plan, which gives you access to Arduino's web-based toolkit, enabling you to create, store and compile sketches online, as well as store data from your cloud-connected Arduino boards. They've also got an Android and iOS mobile app, which allows you to view and control your Arduino from your mobile phone or tablet. Let's put the Arduino onto the IoT carrier and try out the introductory sketch. The chip on the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 board is an ATS AMD21 chip, which sits alongside the Wi-Fi module. The Arduino plugs into the back of the IoT carrier, and you still program the Arduino by plugging the included USB cable directly into the Arduino's USB port. I then use the online IDE to compile and upload the Opla IoT example code, which displays a basic temperature and humidity readout on the OLED display. You'll need to install a small plugin onto your computer to allow the web application to communicate with your Arduino, but this was quick and easy to do and the application picked up my board right away. I uploaded the code and was able to see the temperature and humidity data being displayed on the serial monitor. The carrier now also displayed the temperature in red and I was able to change between the temperature and humidity displays by simply touching the two sensors alongside the display. As with other genuine Arduino products, the IoT carrier board feels like it's really good quality and well built. I also like that they've included the enclosure as a way to make your projects look more complete without having to buy or 3D print a case. Overall, I really like that Arduino has taken another step towards building a cloud-based system. There are already loads of projects out there to create IoT devices, but without having a dedicated server to host cloud services, you're left with only having local network control or having to try and get your own static IP address and configure port forwarding on your router to access your device over the internet, making it significantly more complicated and less secure than this solution. Look out for my next Opla IoT video where I'm going to be trying to build one of the included projects. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.